In this video, I'm going to show you how to use FTP as the remote destination for your backups. The first thing that you need to do is to go to Backup Boss Destinations, scroll down to FTP and click on Add New. FTP stands for a File Transfer Protocol. It's essentially a way of transferring data to your remote destination or from the remote destination. We are going to name this destination. For this example, I'm going to use one of my websites. It's called dragandropboss.com. So as the destination name, I'll simply specify drag and drop boss. Okay, now the server address. Typically, if um, the name of your website is um, something like um, dragdropboss.com, then the uh, server address is going to be ftp.dragdropboss.com. Uh, ftp Next, you need to specify the username and password. And um, uh, unless you have created the um, specialized username and password for your FTP account, that is typically the same username and password that you use for your uh, cPanel access. For drag and drop boss, that is going to be drag drop and I'm going to put a password in. It's the same password that I use for the uh, cPanel access. And finally, we need to specify the remote path. So the first thing I'm going to do in, in that regard is to uh, use FileZilla to create um, the remote directory. FileZilla is a completely free FTP client. So if I uh, go to my uh, site manager, I've already defined uh, drag and drop boss. As you can see, it's the same FTP address, the same username and the same password that I would use for the cPanel. I'm going to connect and uh, all the uh, files and the data is typically stored in this uh, public underscore HTML folder. Now, depending on uh, who you're hosting with, it could be different, but in the vast majority of cases, it's just public underscore HTML. And uh, I'm going to create one folder in there. I'm going to call it um, backups. Hit OK. And this is the folder that we are going to use to store our backups. So let me just copy this. I don't really need the uh, slash at the beginning. So uh, public underscore HTML slash backups. I'm going to minimize this and specify this as the remote path. So public HTML slash backups. The uh, connection protocol is FTP, server port, server timeout, passive mode. Well, in most cases, you don't really need to specify anything there. And finally, always make sure to test the connection before uh, you save the destination. So if you have the login success and changing the directory was a success, this means that we are ready to use this particular destination for our backups. Click on Save Destination and you're done.